and foremost, I really want to thank the city. Um, the, the city turned out for us with, with the youth. It was really awesome um, to be able to be in that atmosphere. We just played in it last week. And we've played in quite a few kids' games, and uh, just really hats off to our administration. It started with Dom, who was an associate AD, and he's carried it on now as an AD. I saw him bringing in kids, which is really neat. Um, it's, it's little babies blossomed um, with the kids coming in from the private schools and kids coming in from um, San Marcos ISD, just having a blast, really being able to showcase right um, our university in a fun way um, through sport and then see these young women who a lot of them are local like you know Jalen and some from out of state and playing out of state team kind of blending all that together to to to, to show them that sport can be fun right and if you do want to continue your education beyond high school to a four-year with a four-year degree Texas State is a great option so appreciate that definitely felt the crowd um, just really appreciate that when we turned out to the game Felt like we were understanding and locked into the game plan going into the game today. You know, uh, clearly understanding that they're the number one defensive team and we're right there at number two. And it was going to be a doggy dog battle. You're not going to see a, a you know, um, situation where um, there's going to be easy for either team on, on either end. Coming out of half, the one thing that was really stressed with the team was understanding that they didn't get what they normally do, which is the transition looks that they like to get, right? Really amping up their defense and them uh, owning the fact that they're at one. Um, but I really wanted to challenge our team and say, we're not that far away at two, right? We're, we're a basket away at, at uh, defensive points per game. And that understanding we're gonna have to do a good job of taking care of the basketball and rebounding because they're gonna look to turn that piece up. And they did, they came out of half and they did. and. We are going to continue to work at what I know that has been tough for us, and that is ball security, for sure, ball security, in a variety of scenarios, and doing a better job of boxing out. Um, we switched up our practice. It was a very short, though. It was a very short practice because you got to consider the fact that we were coming off the road, right? You take a long bus trip from Lafayette. The athletes um, get in the middle of the night. They have that Sunday off, and then you have a two-day prep, and then you rest. Um, but I still switched up practice regardless to really help us get in a mind frame where we can do better with turnovers and miss box outs. Um, I think we need, we need a little bit more time and reps to get to a great place because you're not going to build um, build on positives until you get enough reps in place. And so we were stifled going into the third, and we, you know, we were just trying to play catch up after that. And then, Coach, it feels like the second half kind of been a bugger bear for this team throughout the season, just, you know, especially during this game, what do you think, what, what do you think the adjustments ODU made in that second half that kind of put y'all in a flood? I think they recognize the fact that we weren't playing around, uh, that we are, um, we have the ability to be a contender, so I think they understood that, and uh, they came out uh, on fire uh, the second half, and that's where we really need to understand that it's, it's, not necessarily that it was easy to start out, right? Mm -hmm. But that there are going to be adjustments, and that's where you really got to kick in, right? When they say the going gets tough, the tough gets going. It's got to be a little bit tougher from that standpoint. I don't mean physically. I'm really talking about mentally understanding what it is we need to do and then executing that. And then challenging, um, what was ODU kind of doing right to kind of put y'all, especially on the offense, kind of in the flux? Um, I think it was just playing great defense. They didn't really do anything special. They were playing great defense, and um, we just weren't executing when we were able to kick in with us. <clears throat> I mean, it's the number one and number two defensive team in the conference, so um, they just really showed their defense right there, and we didn't adjust, and that's on us. We had a hard time getting entries, right? That was difficult. They did a good job of making it difficult to get that entry to the wing, the entry to the wing. You can get it to the forwards, right? But really, forwards don't necessarily initiate offense. They can score from the from outside, like Jalen can stretch it out, and, and Nicole can stretch it out. But they did a good job just being tough on our on our wing entries. So uh, that really then forced us to drain the clock. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all got off to a really good start in that. Uh, you know, in the first and second period, what was the key to kind of getting y'all to that really good start, especially in the <coughs> second period where y'all really kind of jumped on them? Us doing a good job defensively, right? At the mm -hmm. end of the day, us doing a good job defensively. They scored in the second half off of their defense. It wasn't what they were doing offensively, yeah. which is something we've talked about. So we did a good job defensively, uh, and it made it tougher for them on offense. But in addition to that, uh, I, we found a comfort level scoring-wise against their, their, their defense.
it's the adjustment that um, we did not make going into the second half of the game, right, third and fourth quarter, that allowed them to get to what they're comfortable with because um, they score off of their defense. That's what they did. We turned the ball over. We had tough shots. They forced us into some tough shots. And then they just they got a ton of trans looks right away. Mm-hmm. Right away. Julian Tran, what was the key to kind of getting you off to that really good start in the first half? And then especially in the second quarter where all kind of when y'all were able to kind of put y'all's foot down. Um, I felt like everything was in our favor in the first half. We were hitting shots, we were knocking down good looks and um fans were on our side, momentum was high, so I think that was a big thing for us. We just gotta learn how to come out in that third quarter and keep that momentum going. Yeah, and Jalen, you know, you know, first time playing in front of like, you know, the San Marcos Elementary School kids, especially on the, like, what was the energy like just playing on the court with like, when the students feel like their energy level is like at a thousand and it just keeps going, like, and it doesn't even slow down. It was uh, exciting. It was exciting. We played in the big game last week, but I think our kids ran with a little more of it. So, um, for me, it was amazing to see the support system that we had in San Marcos with all the kids. So it was, um, it was exciting to see. Yeah, exactly. It was really fun. Yeah, y'all got. I was. We were kind of talking before, but uh, it does feel like the team like it's just almost you know right there. It feels like they just need a couple more steps. So what are those steps needed to take for this team to kind of finally get over this hump that y'all been kind of been experiencing? You know, that's what we're trying to work on right now. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I do like the change of the way we practice because I said, like, we've only had two days. So I think that's going to help us from a teaching perspective. Um, it's going to be important to be good listeners across the board from coaches to student athletes, student athlete to the coaches, and student athlete to student athlete, and really understand how we can get better at ball security, mm-hmm. right? And then taking ownership of, of boxing out because there's so many other great things that we do. Do a really good job. It's a really good defense. We have two very good scores right here, um, so I, I think everyone can see it. It's a it's a matter now of doing a better job of owning it. Everybody owning, you know, where we have to get better and not making excuses. Julian, uh, what is it going to take to kind of get this team to kind of get over the hump to kind of get that third conference win that y'all you know we head into February and especially when we get into the heart of conference play and you guys are all trying to make a deep run over tournament conference tournament. I feel like um, we're on the rear end, so like we have nothing to lose at this point. <coughs> I feel like we're just in the games. We're missing that one piece. We'll we'll go hard for the whole shot clock and then foul, or we'll miss a rebound, or we'll go hard and turn it over. So like we just have to find that missing piece to glue it all together and be able to come out with the win. Yeah, we have to stay disciplined um, and make sure that we're staying in our steps and make sure we feel everybody has a fair chance to own their piece of the puzzle. Thank you. Thank you.